Unit 7. Tape Script 7.1. 20th Century Quiz. 1. Henry Ford sold the first Model T in 1908. 2. The first talking movie, The Jazz Singer, was in 1927. 3. Einstein published his theory of relativity about 100 years ago. 4. The Russian Revolution was in 1917. 5. The first non-stop flight around the world was about 60 years ago. 6. About 60 million people died in the Second World War. 7. The Berlin Wall came down in 1989. 8. Man first landed on the moon on July the 20th, 1969. 9. The Beatles had 17 number one hits in the UK. 10. The 20th century ended at midnight on the 31st of December 2000. Tape script 7.2. The good old days. Grandad, when you were a boy, did you have television? <laughs> Of course we had television. But it wasn't a colour TV like now. It was black and white. And were there lots and lots of channels? <laughs> How many TV channels were there? Only two, but that was enough. We loved it. And there weren't programmes all day long. Nothing in the morning and nothing in the afternoon. Oh, no. <laughs> what time did programmes begin? At 4.30 when children's TV started. There were some great programmes for us children, I can tell you. We had real stories in those days. Did your mum and dad give you pocket money? Yes, but I worked for it. I cleaned the kitchen and did the washing up. We didn't have dishwashers in those days. Oh, that's terrible! <laughs> How much pocket money did you get? My dad gave me sixpence a week. That's two and a half p these days. He didn't give me much, did he? But we bought comics and sweets. What sort of comics did you buy? Well, I bought a comic called The Eagle, and it was full of adventure stories. And Superman. That was really exciting. Wow. Did you have holidays? Yes, but not like nowadays. People didn't go abroad. I never took a plane like people do now. It was too expensive. Where did you go on holiday? To the seaside, in England. How did you get there? My father drove. We had a Ford car. A Ford Prefect, it was. <sighs> we went to the same place every year. <laughs> Why did you go to the same place? Why didn't you go somewhere different? Because we all liked it there. Oh, I'm pleased I wasn't alive then. It sounds really boring. Oh, no. That's where you're wrong. It was the best fun ever. Tape script 7.3 1. How many TV channels were there? 2. What time did programmes begin? 3. How much pocket money did you get? 4. What sort of comics did you buy? 5. Where did you go on holiday? 6. How did you get there? 7. Why did you go to the same place? Tape script 7.4 1. Where did you go? To the shops. 2. When did you go? Yesterday. 3. Who did you go with? A friend from work. 4. How did you get there? By bus. 
Five. Why did you go? Because I wanted to. Six. What did you buy? A shirt. Seven. How many did you buy? Only one. Eight. How much did you pay? Twenty nine pounds. Tape script seven point five. Listening and pronunciation. One. Where do you want to go? Two. I didn't go to college. Three. Where was he? Four. Do you like it? Five. Why did he come? Six. She doesn't work there. Tape script seven point six. Alisa's life. You aren't English, are you, Alisa? Where are you from? No, I'm Russian. I was born in Saint Petersburg. Is that where you grew up? Yes, I lived with my parents and two sisters in a house near the university. My father worked at the university. Oh, how interesting! What was his job? Was he a teacher? Yes, he was a professor of psychology. Really? And what did your mother do? She was a doctor. She worked in a hospital. So where did you go to school? I went to a Catholic high school. I was there for ten years. Then, when I was eighteen, I went to university. What did you study? I studied philosophy and education at the university in Moscow.、Mm. I was there for four years. Wow! And did you start work after that? No, I travelled in the states for six months. I worked in a summer camp near Yellowstone National Park. It was amazing. It sounds great. And what's your job now? I work in a junior high school in Paris. I teach Russian and English. Your English is really good. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Elisa. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Tape script seven point seven. In 1909, Blériot made the first air journey from Calais to Dover. Blériot was just 37 years old when he flew across the Channel. It took him just 37 minutes. He took off from France at 4:30 in the morning. He flew his plane at 40 miles per hour. He flew at two hundred and fifty feet above the sea. He won a prize of one thousand pounds. In nineteen sixty-nine, Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. Three astronauts flew in Apollo eleven. The rocket took three days to get to the moon. It circled the moon thirty times. It landed at eight seventeen a.m. on the twentieth of July, nineteen sixty-nine. Six hundred million people watched on TV. Neil Armstrong said, "That's one small step for man, one giant leap." For mankind, the astronauts spent twenty-two hours on the moon. Tape script seven point eight. Noises in the night. It was about two o'clock in the morning, and suddenly I woke up. I heard a noise. I got out of bed and went slowly downstairs. There was a light on in the living room. I listened carefully. I could hear two men speaking very quietly. Burglars, I thought. 
Immediately, I ran back upstairs and phoned the police. I was really frightened. Fortunately, the police arrived quickly. They opened the front door and went into the living room. Then they came upstairs to see me. It's all right now, sir, they explained. We turned the television off for you. Tape script 7.9 Special Occasions 1 Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear Grandma Happy birthday to you 2 Did you get any Valentine cards? Yes, I did. Listen to this. Roses are red, violets are blue. You are my Valentine and I love you. Wow. Do you know who it's from? No idea. Three. Mummy, Daddy, wake up! It's Christmas! <sighs> what time is it? It's morning. Look. Father Christmas gave me this present. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Merry Christmas, darling. Four. Congratulations. It's great news. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're both very happy. Mm. So, when's the big day? Pardon? Your wedding day. When is it? December the 12th. You'll get an invitation. Five. What were you doing? <laughs> it's midnight. Happy New Year, everyone! Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year! <laughs> Six. Wake up, Mummy! Happy Mother's Day! Thank you, darling. Oh, what beautiful flowers. And a cup of tea. Well, aren't I lucky? And... We made you a card. Look! It's beautiful. What clever children you are. Seven. Thank goodness it's Friday. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Same to you. <laughs> <laughs>